hi guys today we are gonna walk and talk i know i haven't been consistent with uploading my videos weekly during the month of september it's because i've been really really busy and struggling to multitask so we are starting the walking okay so right now i am going to see my seamstress see my friend Selassie and then what else am I doing yes my tripod also got spots it also contributes to one of the factors why I haven't been shooting my videos it started getting weak and then every time I'll fix it on my phone will just drop <laughs> I have to look for it so I don't want to fall down so that was what happened but what should we even talk about today and talking you guys are going with me to see my seamstress and then see my friends the last year and then what else and then pick up my new tripod maybe you might not see some parts of my my schedule for today because I might not be recording maybe I'll just get lost in the moment but this is my outfit I'm doing black and white yeah so today we are just going to talk about what I have been up to during the month of September so during the month of September <laughs> I was doing family stuff I had a wedding to attend I traveled I made a new friend a really really nice person who will come on the channel one of these days you never know and then I have been praying more something I should have been doing a long time ago and doing my mental health advocacy I don't think I have been okay I have I've been doing Facebook live on the mental health society of Ghana page which I think you should check out and then and sorry about the external noise the wind it's so windy in Tema today <laughs> it's like the wind had me talking about it and it's now getting extra wind and um what i i didn't plan this video i just wanted it to be as natural as possible um i'm going to talk about uh, one of my manic episodes i think i just got an idea to do a series on my manic episodes what are manic episodes so as most of you already know okay someone is looking like at me like i'm a crazy person because i'm just looking to my friend well i i was diagnosed with a condition called bipolar disorder in 2015 and bipolar disorder is a mental illness so i got a problem with my brain i don't know so like of course i know the problem and with bipolar we have two sides we have the mania and the depression that's why it's called by two so with mania when the you start having the symptoms and it starts manifesting itself we call it a manic episode dude somebody should please tell this guy i'm recording okay so i've decided to put all my glasses and record um, so I was still saying that I was going to do a series about my manic episodes and mania is the other side of being bipolar so outside the fact that you could be depressed you could have mania too and mania <laughs> refers to the hyper aspect of being bipolar so with mania you experience high energy levels extreme euphoria like I just feel hyper okay guys so I just got to my seamstress place 
and she lives on the last floor of her building i'm going to be doing some climbing so <laughs> it's not gonna be easy let me take off my glasses the place is so dark i can barely see a thing see all the wind into my hair somebody is pounding okay so back to the story so with mania high energy levels you do a lot of you have very very crazy ideas you spend your money on unnecessary things you become excessively generous like i've talked so much about mania in my other episodes you should definitely check it out so today's manic episode i'm going to talk about the time I spent my money for my graduation gown. So I had just started doing my national I just realized how to I just started doing my national service. And I, I the school wasn't stressful, it wasn't a stressful environment, but I think it was a bit hard for my body and my brain to take in because it was a new season in my life. And I wasn't sleeping well. I was also not on mood stabilizers at the time. I, I didn't even know what mood stabilizers were. I was just taking one medication sleep at night. And so, so because I wasn't sleeping, it really, really affected me. And next thing I knew, my graduation was coming. My parents gave me their money. But I was so manic in hyper that I spent the money. I bought gifts for some of my friends. And now the week for graduation came and my parents were asking me, like, have I paid for the gown? And I was like, no. Then they knew something was wrong. So they tried to get me to the hospital. At the hospital, the way the doctors were talking, I just knew they were going to admit me. And my manic self didn't want to be like, <laughs> I swear it's like imprisonment, imprisoned in the hospital. And so, with that, when I saw that they were making arrangements for my admission, I just left the hospital and picked a random vehicle and got to a cry and realized I was stuck. I didn't have enough money to go back home. So I called some friends, they told me they didn't have money. Now when I look back, I'm glad nobody even helped me with money because I don't know what would have happened. And so I went to my mother's friend's shop. And when I got there, they were confused. So we all had to wait for my mother to come. So when my mother came, she, she lied to me that, oh, that they just said they want to take some blood samples it's fine like it's not anything major they won't admit you i to ask her she was like yeah they won't admit you and so i didn't want to go so i pushed her and in accra accra like makola market a lot of people are around people thought i was crazy so someone tried to attack me like in defense of my mother and I'm just that I didn't know I was manic. I didn't want to fight because if I had fought, I didn't know what would have happened. And so I went back to the hospital with my mother. And when we got there, first thing they did was they injected me and I fell asleep and woke up. Now I was in the hospital for days. The crazy thing was that prior to that, I had sent out invitations that i was having a graduation party i had not even um like i just had a crazy idea why don't you have a graduation party i made a program lineup i didn't have the money for all the things i was seeing now do the chairs the tables the balloons the people who minister saying oh it was just one wild idea i created a whatsapp group for everybody that i wanted to help me with the party and now embarrassment so my precious friend duncan had to do the damage control and private message all those people and tell them that essay is not well 
she doesn't know what she's doing but if you leave the group she will bore and it was true if you left the group i will bore <laughs> and so whilst i was at the hospital he did all the damage control and he convinced my parents that they should let me go for my graduation that saturday it doesn't matter what has happened because Essie will not be happy she doesn't have a graduation picture. I think I'll put my graduation picture right there so that I can see how even I don't even look like I spent my week in a psychiatric unit. So that was what happened. I was so mad at the doctors. Like and because I was mad at them, they felt I wasn't well. They didn't want me to go for my graduation, but then I can't convince my parents to well that. I was discharged on the Friday and Saturday and for my graduation. So that was my story. So being manic, <laughs> I'm not the only one who has crazy stories, like dramatic stories like this. I have so many of my friends. I think I'm going to invite some of them to the channel to also share their manic stories. So I'm getting to the last floor to see my seamstress. And that was my story. I hope you enjoyed it even though it may not sound like it's like really you did that that was me that was the mania talking that was the bipolar talking it's just like an invisible suitcase that i carry around it's not visible for everybody to see that's how mental health conditions are and one in five people who experience a mental health condition in their lifetime and so it's real you may not experience it now but it could be you, it could be me, it could be your sister, it could be your husband to be, it could be anybody. So let's just get informed and educated. And Saturday, October 10th is World Mental Health Day. It's time to get acquainted with knowledge on mental health. You can't keep being like unaware and keep saying that. Uh, I don't know. This month, the way people are making noise about breast cancer awareness, if people were doing that with um, mental health, I think we'll really, really go far. So please, share this video, share all my videos. It will help somebody, it will bless somebody. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.